Did you know American students pay billions of dollars for textbooks annually in the United States? Hello, my name is Christian Garcia Hernandez, and I am here to tell you why we shouldn't be getting textbooks for free and online. An average student pays roughly about $1,000 per year for school books, and there is more material to, to be purchased. Binders, papers, pencils, and even laptops on occasion. By having free access to books, students will be able to save up for other important things like a vehicle or classes for next semester. First, I will discuss the cost of textbooks. Then I will include some of my personal experience with textbooks. And finally, I will discuss why it should be for free and online. Students in any college or university need textbooks for almost every course. Sometimes deciding to buy them is in our mind and we ask ourselves, do we really need them? With students having to pay $1,000 per year, which is 500 a semester, students are trying to complete courses without the books. They should try to find ways to get their material as cheap as possible or free if they could. You notice the difference in community college per year and the four-year college is more in the four-year community, uh, I mean four-year university and colleges. And most of the staff agree students pay more than what they did when they went to school. And this chart shows when students waste money on textbooks, which actually happens. My um, uh, information is from Catherine Ramble, free textbooks online company, tries a controversial publishing model, academic, uh, expanded academic ASAP web. This chart, this picture shows how students pay most of their money towards books in school. This chart shows the increase of Prices in consumer products, new homes, medical services, and educational books. As you see, the one with the most increase is educational books, with 812% over the last 30 years. And I got this information from Ellen Wexler, Free Textbooks Gain Support Among Tech Leaders, The Chronicle of Higher Education, Expanded Academic ASAP Web. Next, let's talk a little bit about my personal experiences in the textbook. My first semester, I had five courses, so I needed five books. I bought all five and a bigger backpack to carry on. It turns out, I only needed three of them daily, and the other two, my professors used PowerPoint, so I really didn't need the books. I could have saved about $200 for those books, and when I went to sell them at the bookstore, I only got about $35 back. So don't ever sell them at the bookstore. If anything, try to sell them to another student. You'll get more money and help a fellow student. My US professor had an online text for the course, so I didn't have to buy a book. It saved me about $70. So ask your professors ahead of time. For my algebra class, I bought a used book to save for buying a new one. Turns out I needed an access code, so I had to buy a new one. So when I went to return my used one, I have to wait a week and a half to get my new one because they were out of stock. Everyone was doing their work while I waited a week and a half to start my first chapter. And finally, let's talk about the easy access and the other ways for books. Virginia has a program called the Z Degree, which allows 50,000 students to use textbooks for free. They just expected to save them over $5 million the first year. More cities and states should adopt this program to help students.
It is funded by a $2,000 grant from William Flora and Hewlett Foundation. My sources are how some colleges are offering free textbooks, CNN Wire, Opposing Viewpoints and Context. My, the next source is Free Textbooks, Diverse Issues in Higher Education, Expanded Academic ASAP Web. Scott G. McNeely is a co-founder of Sun Microsystems. It is an online hub for free textbooks and other course material. He is trying to put all the material online for free for students. With, while we're spending billions of dollars per year for books, it seems as it can be accessed online for free. McNeely quotes. If all texts were online, like my history class, then I would save thousands, and so will other students. I got this source information from Ashley Vance, $200 text versus free. You do the math. Opposing viewpoints in context. In conclusion, the textbooks are way too expensive for students and should be offered online for free. My personal experience with textbooks shows that online is more convenient and is easier than having all these textbooks to worry about. Also carrying them to class was unpleasant. The online material is way better, a, a better way to go and most of the time can be accessed for free. Thank you.